Well, as always, I hope that you're all keeping well and keeping safe. As you can see, the mandolin has moved on a bit. Um, I've just taken the clamps off the fretboard, glued that on yesterday. But really what this video is about is the, uh, <coughs> is the neck joint. So let me show you how I got this far. So the first step for fitting the neck is to route out this pocket that the, uh, the tenon is fitted to. Right, so after a few new racking moments, that's it, that's the um, <coughs> pocket for the neck. Right, so we're now into some very accurate um, marking out. So I have the neck leaning back. So now what I've, what I've just done is I've very carefully marked out the mortise part. So I'm going to cut this now. Um, some of the initial cuts I can do on the bandsaw and the others I'll have to do by hand. So you can see that um, the tenon has been roughly cut and in front of me I've got a couple of hours of chiselling and filing to make sure that that fits absolutely spot on. And of course what I've got to do whilst doing that is check for the alignment. You've got obviously the centre line running right the way down the instrument and also you've got to make sure that once that neck is in its final place the pitch of it is correct to give you the right height of the bridge. Right, so we're just checking in the alignment. I quite like using a piece of um, angle aluminium rather than a straight edge. While it's light, it's accurate. I can clamp it if I want to. Then I can mark it. This is the bridge position here. Measure it, see how far I've got to go, etc. Check for alignment. Yeah, it's all looking pretty good at this stage. A bit of tweaking, but we're getting there. So I've finished my fine adjustments and as you can see I've got this lovely snug fit um, which is in alignment in this plane and this plane and of course you've got to take care 
of the shoulders here to make sure that they're, they're nice and snug. So that's going to be glued in with um, some epoxy. As I've said before, I, I use epoxy nowadays because the, as you can see the joint's quite tight and I found that when I used um, tight bond sometimes introducing the moisture it causes the wood to swell and the joint just locks up on me so the epoxy works much better and that little bit of tape there is just to um, stop the excess uh, dripping onto the, uh, onto the soundboard. See how easy that now slides in. Okay, so the neck went on perfectly, happy with that. So I've got the fretboard here that I've made up, and that's being held in place by these wooden pegs, so that holds it in perfect alignment along the, uh, the length of the instrument. Um, the neck tilts back relative to the body, so you end up with um, a gap here between the underside of the fretboard and the surface of the soundboard. So what I've got to do now is make the wedge which goes underneath there, and all of these little wooden pegs um, and the fretboard itself are a crucial part of getting that aligned. So that's the bit that I'm going to be working on now. Right, so you can see that this area now is completely flat and that's to take um, the, the wedge which supports this area of the, uh, of the fretboard. I've got my four dowels in here which I like to put in for that bit of belt and braces as far as the neck joint's concerned. So the next thing then is to, um, is to glue that on and <coughs> it's not fixed to the fretboard. I kind of use the fretboard as a means of making sure that everything's aligned during that gluing process. Right, there we are. So that wedge, which supports the fretboard, has been glued on, planed down, feathered into the neck, so we've got this perfectly flat surface now, onto which I'm going to um, glue the fretboard. <coughs> I tell you what, it's gratifying though, looking at this. This wedge is lined up perfectly with these two outer diamonds. So I'm really dead chuffed with that when you think of all the opportunities for misalignment during the construction of something. It's, it's those little things that um, make me happy. Right, so that's the story of the uh, neck joint. So, um, as always, many thanks for taking the time to watch this um, video, and um, I'll see you in the next one. Until then, you take care. Cheers.